Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, oh. enjoy my lice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 148. Ah, why are we? Watch them so you don't have to. And this week, we watched Killer Yacht Party. From uh, 2006. Oh. Not rated 83 minutes long. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, directed by Piotr... Uh, <laughs> Piotr? <laughs> Piotr. 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 <laughs> I think it's Peter, ain't it? Is it? I, well, that's what it is. It U Uzeroics? Sorry, Piotr. Piotr. <laughs> so, so stupid. Starring great. Maggie Mary, uh, Becky Boxer, and Kate Lubin. Lubin? Lubin? Lubed? Lubed? Lubed up? What's this movie about, though? No! No? <laughs> so there's a bunch of it takes place in Hollywood, and there's a bunch of like uh, drug dealers and snobby people. There was only one drug dealer. Oh, that's true. Yeah, not yeah, a bunch. That's true. Really, I got the coke. Well, yeah, yeah. he was a drug user. Drug <laughs> he wasn't shot. <laughs> that's true. People doing drugs and rich people and stupid assholes and bitches and you really aren't good at this, are you? No. They okay. all go to a party. ask me. <laughs> <laughs> what was this that. movie about? Adam? Okay, so this movie was about a group of LA socialites, mm. uh, including a club owner. Club owner rents a yacht. Yep. For a big party and invitation only invites uh, a group of people there. We were not invited. We were not invited. No. Some killer is on the boat with them and starts picking them off one by one. Ah. And sometimes two by two. So it kind of sounds like numerous other movies we've probably seen, except for not on a boat. Yeah, I was going to say, name one. <laughs> <laughs> Have your pick of the litter, right? Yeah, kitty litter. Yeah. yeah. Kitty. So I, I think this, it's not the only one that I have seen that killer on a boat sort of movie, no. but it's the only one that's coming to mind right now yeah. like this. Segway into what do we enjoy. So what do we, what do we like about this movie? I like, uh, you take the first one. I'll take the first one. You know, I really like the story and, and the plot of this movie. Yeah. And I mean, the story, is, I mean, there's not like a ton to it. I, there's, you get the basic. It's straightforward. It's, yeah, you get the basic plot sources, lines, or whatever, and yeah. they utilize it really well. You know, you get your Harbinger, who kind of, you know, Crazy Ralph. Crazy Ralph, yeah. Kind of, And it kind of looked like Crazy Ralph. That same kind of hat. He's like, you know, don't go in the boat. No, or, don't go in the boat. Blah, 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 blah. Exactly. Um, you know, one thing I really liked with the that kind of ties in with the story and the plot, the red herrings in this movie were great. Yeah, every single one of them could have been who the killer was. Yep, and that to me is a very effective. It's like, oh wow, they're setting it up so it could be this, or it could be this, or it could be this, and all of them were believable. So, and not only with the, the killer, who's the killer. It was with what's going on, red herrings too. Right, because they it's set like, it up to be almost a supernatural. Almost like ghost ship. So that it makes you feel like it's a slasher there for a while, straight up slasher, and then all of a sudden they're talking about ghosts on the ship. It's like, is this supernatural? But then it feels like a slasher. It's, what's happening? We, you know, we watch a lot of horror movies, and yeah. a lot of times, most times, I call out who it is pretty fairly early on, it's pretty at easy. least by the middle, and I'm usually right. Yeah. Not to flip my own boat. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh! oh! But uh, nautical humor. <laughs> Indeed. <coughs> So, but the fact that it, they fooled us, man, up yeah. until the last few minutes, we we're like, well, what if it's this person? We called the killer, but there was like a minute and a half left before the reveal of the killer. Yeah, which was awesome. So we, you, seriously. Good job. More need We to do don't that. get fooled like that very often. No, no. Uh, and the person who was the killer, once you know that's who it is, it makes sense. It all makes sense. You're like, okay. But if it hadn't been that person... The movie still would have worked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. It's not like it was some random person they brought no. in just for the twist. Um, <laughs> it was shot really well. It was. I mean, really well. I, you know, I knew this was a lower budget, probably indie flick, really. You know, back in '06. Right. But it, man, it, you know, and it's got the trauma label on it. So we're, you know, going. In, I like trauma. 
I mean, there's a expectations lot of were lowered. <laughs> but when you think of trauma, you're like, okay, you know what you're getting into. This is going to be just silly. Yep. You know, a lot of them are, you know, so bad they're fun. Yeah. But there's a lot of great trauma too. So it's like, okay, we're going in. With, you know, I thinking, went in expecting like Tromeo and Juliet or right. Poultry Guys, which are great fun movies. But for we what expected they are. that stuff. Right. We were expecting. It's what you would expect from trauma. Right. And so we were like, okay, but you know, other than. You know, they slapped that little intro uh, music title, Lloyd, yeah. you know, Lloyd thing. And then, of course, Lloyd Kaufman does his little intro right. thing. Um, so it's like, okay. But, man, it was shot great. Right. Wow, we can't dance. Nope. <laughs> I did like the atmosphere and the setting. Uh, while it wasn't, you know, it wasn't really scary or, or suspenseful or nothing, but the, just the setting on the boat and, the, you know, they're partying and there's cool lighting and stuff like this and just the, the atmosphere of it was, it was, it was fun. I made a note for later because I want to come back to that. My, my ass butt. Uh, the acting. Yeah. And so this was really good. They were all really good. They did a great job. There wasn't anyone who, who stood out as being a bad actor. There were boobs. Mm-hmm. Your favorite part. And my favorite, there was some uh, blood and gore. Yeah. And there was a pretty good body count. Mm -hmm. um, the decapitation scene was really cool. That was probably the best. That and there, there's one, um, yeah, by like fishing wire or something. That was good. So it was like a slit throat, but then boom, knock the head off. And we get like, what, a, a little hatchet axe to the face. Yeah. Uh, the hook. Death by hook, yep. Coupled by that, flare gun death. Flare uh, gun, which is not one we see very often because... I was thinking of Friday Five, yeah, the flare stuff, you know, but it wasn't as cool as that. No, but yeah, uh, you know, girl cooked a lot. There's some good stuff. Yeah, that one was really cool. Yeah, well, and you called that one. I right? called that one right Which, away, and I called the decapitation. <coughs> you know, yes, you did. Yep, yes, yep. you did. The yep. ending was great. Right. Um, all the way up to the final scene was great too. Yeah, uh, obviously the twist, which came what maybe ten minutes before the end, if even. If even. Yeah. Uh, the twist was great, and then the ending itself. Uh, as they're like leaving the scene of the crime, the was... actual reveal, right? Because so, you kind of like, oh, we were right, or this is this is who it was. But then in the very last kind of shot, it's, it's the the ambulance scene, and that's yeah. all I'm saying. It's just the ambulance scene that was really effective. It was really effective. So that worked. Kind of felt like old school. That worked for me. Yeah. So yeah, dislikes. I uh, really, I was surprisingly the not, not a lot. lot that I disliked. Which I uh, going in, I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, probably gonna be one of those. Uh, like, mm, you know. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna start with the biggest one that I wrote down as we were talking. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Get off of my boot. <laughs> Get off of my boot. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're on a boat, on a yacht. Right. But. At no point does it really feel like they're on a yacht, for the most part. That's true. There's a couple of shots where it's like, oh, okay, they are at, at sea, this is what's going on. But this party could have been held in a warehouse. Right. Or... Or a basement. Or a factory. A factory, yeah. Or, yeah, someone's basement, a school gymnasium. Yeah. On a cloud. Any of these places. They didn't really have to be on a yacht. Which, when your movie's named Killer Yacht Party... I kind of feel like the boat wasn't much of a character. Uh, some of the lighting, it, you know, it's kind of dark in times yeah. where you couldn't really, the, you're, you're kind of looking, you're like, is, she, is, she, is, is that a boob? Is that, is that a boob? Or a peen. <laughs> score. There, there really wasn't a, there no, wasn't a score. There wasn't a score. Very little bit. I think in one part we're in the background, but it was probably just the music and, yeah, you know. And score goes a long way to up the tension. Oh, big time. Yeah, because uh, speaking of that, this wasn't, scary or suspenseful or tense at any mm. moment um no. ever uh, you know in a slasher movie or supernatural movie or whatever it was you know should have some of that in there whatever it was you know should have that in there to make you feel on your edge but yeah. it didn't really take away from it nah. thankfully but it, you need a score put the thing in there put the thing in there put the thing in there. i say that all the time and no one listens. oh my oh my Close off my ass but there were some pacing issues, yeah. especially up front. The front third was really... I, I remember we checked the time. The half hour and, in. And it was almost exactly a third in, and I was like, oh, how are we not farther in yet? But then once it picked up, it was good. Uh, I'll, you, 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 hmm. I'll take that one. Yeah. Uh, I love Lloyd Kaufman. Oh, yeah, me too. I Uncle Lloyd. fucking love Uncle Lloyd. Like, I'm going to have Whoa. his man baby. 
I don't know how, I'll be the first man to get pregnant and it's going to be Lloyd Kaufman's. I really, really love Lloyd Kaufman. I love what he stands for. I love what he does. He is, when we say support indie horror, he's the guy fucking doing it. Yeah. He is the man. The intro to trauma release movies has him and Debbie Rashawn, mm -hmm. yep. where they're going back and forth and they're talking about the movie, but then every time they're going to do anything specific about the movie, like the name or the actors or anything, they cover their mouths and they have a voiceover, and a really obvious, badly dubbed voiceover, because yeah. it's funny. It is funny. And it is funny, but the scene goes too long. It's like a five-minute intro yeah. every time. It's like, it's really funny. You need to trim it back a little bit, Lloyd. And also, call me. I'm going to have your man, baby. Uh, email us at supermoviesoutlook.com and he'll, uh, he'll give you details. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll be as explicit as you want. Uh, back to the movie. <laughs> uh, it could have used, you know, for him. More, well, I mean, who doesn't like more boobs? Right. Uh, and more gore. Because the gore is good, but uh, some of it was off screen. And we know how I feel about off screen. I haven't had to really talk about yeah, that, lately. that lately. Don't do it off screen. Yeah. If you're going to do it, do it. Just and and my, my complaint about the boobs... Show it! Is show it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, no, my only my only real complaint about the boobs, because I thought there was a nice ratio, it was just most of it was too dark, and yeah. you couldn't see anything. And quick. And it was like, eh. Yeah. I don't mind the quick shots and everything, that's okay, but it's like I can't see right. what I saw, so yeah, I, I don't yeah. know what I saw. But you know, overall, overall, man, I fucking love this movie. I did too, and I went into it thinking, man, I, you know, this is probably going to be one that's going to have a lower rate. And... and Hey, maybe that's why we liked it as much as we did. It, it far exceeded my expectations going in. It was more fun than I mean. I didn't really know much about it, I'm and that blessed. helped too. I think. Yeah. I did, I really didn't know. I picked it up cheap off Amazon, uh, and I thought, hey, you know, sounds like a fun hey. little movie. So plug. You can get it on Amazon. It's called Killer Yacht Party. Through, yeah. Now, yeah. here's our support indie horror plug. Buy physical media. Because you buy this is going to support Lloyd and Trauma. Yeah. And you know, without them. Who knows what the yeah. horror scene would be like. Right? Buy the DVD. So, because more money goes back to support them. Obviously. We're not just saying that. We I mean, love it. And, and I have the same at home. You know, we need <coughs> these movies to keep coming out. Because, yeah. you know. That's our show. And if <laughs> these movies quit coming out, we don't have a show anymore. Right. I'm going to do my shout out this week. Yeah. I get this week. Yeah, you get I this I never shout get out. shout outs. Ah! I want to shout out Lloyd Kaufman. Mm -hmm. Uncle Lloyd, I love you. And I am going to have your man, baby. Final ratings on this uh, killer yacht party. You want me to start this one? You, uh, I'll, give you, mm -hmm. I'll start this one. I, I really like this movie. Yeah. Um, going into it, I had super low expectations, and they just kept getting higher and higher and higher and kept meeting it. I fucking I loved it, man. I'm going to give it a, a 7 out of 8. Man, you are on a roll with 7s out of 8s, man. It's I, like every week lately. That's awesome. It's because every week we've had really fucking good movies. Uh, this could probably be one of the, the rare times where mine's just a little lower than you. Not by a whole lot, but as I was watching, about halfway through, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm liking it. It's a little slow. You know, I'm thinking five, five and a half. But they're fooling me, catching me off guard with the twist, the red herrings. That's it right there. And all that is what bumped it up for me. So I'm going to give it a six and a half out of eight. And I just want you to know I argued him up a whole half a point. I did. I, I originally said six, and he was like, you know. I'm Deserves like, better. Yeah, so surprise. Yeah, because I, you know, <laughs> hey, it was. It ended up being a lot great. more fun. It was. It was a good time. You can check us out on Facebook.com/slash/stupidmovies, over at Instagram, at Stupid Movies, <laughs> at the Horror Punk, at Doctor Sketch Turner. That's right, and uh, at Lloyd Kaufman. At Lloyd Kaufman, email us if you feel obligated to or uh, whatever at Stupid Movies at. Outlook.com. Have we gotten any emails yet? I haven't checked. I need to do that. So that's it for this week. We'll see what he cooks up for next week, and we will return for Have some ideas. All right. Till next week. Till next week. Stay stupid, my friends. Stay stupid. Why can't people understand? I got a short attention span. Short attention span. Call me Lloyd. <laughs>